What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So last year I covered something called AntStream. This is a streaming service for retro games, like really retro games, like from way back when we used to play our Atari 2600s, Mega Drives, Commodore 64s, and all that kind of stuff, and going to the arcades. The only gripe I had, I love the service, was I wanted to see more games, certain games I was looking for there, and also I didn't like the $10 a month. I just felt like while they were providing something great, and uh, they have all kind of features that we'll get into uh, and take a look at a little bit in this video, that it just felt like a little bit too much money compared to other services out there and what you could get. So this move that they've made very recently to go to a free setup, to be a free gaming, truly, truly free cloud retro gaming, is really cool. And they've also added quite a few games since I've checked this service out last year. So I wanted to get in and take a look at Antstream again and see how it's doing. Uh, take a look at the games again and uh, just, just kind of get a feel for the service as its free model. Now they also did a great partnership with Amazon a couple of weeks ago for some charity. I've seen them doing a bunch of challenges and events and they have a very active community. So Antstream is definitely thriving. It's definitely uh, something that is, uh, it's really interesting to me, this super, super retro cloud gaming uh, setup that they have. And seeing them work with Amazon a good bit here and there, uh, I had mentioned before, it'd be really cool if we got some kind of Ant Stream uh, Luna channel uh, in the future. I think that could be kind of cool as well. But let's take a look at an article first that I want to key in on to kind of bring some more context to what is going on here. And then we'll move over. We're going to take a look at Ant Stream a little bit closer. So it says retro games now free to play thanks to Ant Stream Arcade. A platform that launched itself as the Netflix of gaming is transforming into the first ever Spotify of streaming. After adding an option for players to try its selection of over 1,000 fully licensed retro games for absolutely free. Antstream Arcade, a British venture that launched in June 2019 as a $10 a month subscription based game streaming service, has added a free tier to its model, meaning that players in North America and Europe no longer need to part with hard earned cash to enjoy a range of immortal titles like Pac Man, Mortal Kombat, Super Star Wars, and Bubble Bobble. Of course, it's not without a catch. Antstream's additional free model uses advertising to support its finances. The landmark move means the organization will become the first of its kind to legally offer real games for free. So that is pretty interesting coming from there. Like I said, this service has really changed a lot since I originally checked it out last uh, summer when it was $10, and I liked it then, like I said, but I just didn't like the pricing. And I wanted to see more games. Now, jumping over to the website, this is where also they've made changes. Start um, free play now. Uh, currently supported on Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, Amazon Fire, and NVIDIA Shield. Um, this plays excellently on my Shield TV Pro. Uh, it's, for me, growing up playing these games, being an older uh, gamer, getting close to 40, and playing my Atari 2600 being the first thing, my NES, SNES, Sega, uh, just everything from there to now seeing these games and playing them again on like my big screen 4k tv or on my pc or on my phone it's just it's almost surreal it's just really cool that they've taken all of these games that are really so old uh but are still so good and they've put them in a place like this for everybody to be able to play and now so many people can check those out for free i just find that to be really really cool for gaming so uh jumping over here about Antstream. So they still do all of their tournaments. They have a lot of cool things going on with games in there. They've got challenges for a whole bunch of games, uh, leaderboards, and of course, tons of games to play in Antstream. So let's go over and take a look at the app and uh, we'll open up a game and uh, see what we got going on. All right, guys, and jumping over here on the app. Now, I praised this app last year as well when I reviewed the service. It was, like I said, I want more games and the price, and both of those things uh, are getting fixed up here very well. Uh, you have your account settings over here. You've got tournaments in their list over here that you can go down through. You've got a place for where all your messages will be, all of your achievements, uh, different things earned in your different profiles your search so you can go in and search for whatever game you may be looking for plus everything is alphabetical order in here as well so if you just start going down it will just start going through all of the games in alphabetical order and i really really like that or you can search for particular systems like your c64 or amiga or mega drive or any of that kind of thing so we go back to our other main page and then very netflix like as as they've said you go down through here to your different categories as well your ant stream picks your play again games with challenges, trending, and you'll see what a bunch of the games are as we scroll down through here. But if you go over similar to Netflix as well, you can go through more and more of the games for that category as well. 
We've got our new games, multiplayer games, arcade adventure, driving, platform, beat em ups, double dragon. Used to play that so much uh, when I was younger. Racing games, sports games, flight sim, pinball games, which an another thing I'm a huge fan of, especially in here for the retro gaming, casino games, adventure games, action games, shooting games, fighting, puzzle maze strategy role playing and text adventure so they're broken down really well a lot of great categories to go find what you might be wanting to play and then plus like i said you can go over into that search and you can find everything that you might be looking for as well so just for the fun of it let's just open up some pac-man um, I, I don't want to go through opening a whole bunch of games here but i'll tell you as you'll see here they all load quickly i mean this is all really really retro easy to run stuff and yeah, I've never really had any major problems with the app, uh, bugs, crashes, disconnects, anything like that. Everything has always worked really, really well. So uh, I just want to make this video kind of as quick as I could and just really kind of re-go over AntStream with all these changes with their free-to-play model, um, their challenges and tournaments, and they have a great community, as I had mentioned. So I'm really happy to see what AntStream has done. I'm happy to see where they've come the past year and a half. And I hope this will be a great opportunity, not only for gamers like me to to um, experience these games once again that we uh, loved from our childhood, but also for hopefully new gamers. Um, I can't play Pac-Man and speak, but and hopefully help um, new gamers uh, try these games for the first time. There's so many great games on AntStream to try out, and so many great different little tournaments and challenges and achievements and stuff to earn. Um, it's really cool. So definitely, guys, go check out AntStream if you haven't. Thanks a lot for coming over check out the video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up ring that notification bell and leave me your comments down below as always thanks again for coming to watch guys really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one